case 18. It's a nodule, no skin on it. It's just been popped out and look what it's attached to. Dense band of dense regular connective tissue. So tendon, tendon sheath, ligament, fascia all look like this. In this case, it's a tendon sheath um, on the hand or the foot probably. And we've got big osteoclastic giant cells scattered in here. And in the background, the actual tumor cells, these plump, massive mononuclear cells with abundant cytoplasm, sometimes have kind of a plasma cytoid or rhabdoid look. Their nuclei are quite large. Mitotic activity is relatively common in these and sometimes even abundant, so that can be scary. But this is a what? What's the diagnosis? Yeah, giant cell tumor of tendon sheath, also known as tenosynovial giant cell tumor, localized type. And I've got a whole video about this. I'll put a link down below to check out. But these plump giant, uh, these plump mononuclear cells, those are actually the cell I want to find because there are other things that can have multiple giant cells in them. And sometimes these can be very poor in giant cells, have very few or even absent giant cells. Because even though the name sounds like the giant cells is the main, the main feature, these are actually the neoplastic cells. The giant cells just come to hang out in the lesion. That's my understanding, at least. The background often has really dense collagen. Sometimes you can see these little collections, little pools of discohesive mononuclear cells floating around. I didn't really see that in this one. You often find variable amounts of hemosiderin. And sometimes the hemosiderin forms like a little ring or a halo around those plump mononuclear cells. I, I didn't search long enough to find it, but it's often there and it's a very characteristic uh, feature. Some people call these ladybird cells or ladybug. I think that's the British way to say ladybug. Um, so see, look, there's a mitosis. Do not be afraid. That's okay. And there's the hemosiderin. And there's also often foam cells present. Usually I tend to see that around the periphery. This case didn't have much of that that I could, could tell. So giant cell tumor of tendon sheath, pretty rare for these to come up into the dermis. So even though we teach about them in derm path, they're really an entity that usually gets taken out by a hand surgeon, an orthopedic surgeon. I have occasionally seen them push up into the dermis and get shaved off by a dermatologist, but I'd say that's actually pretty infrequent uh, in my experience. The vast majority of these I see are deeper nodules that are recognized as such clinically and taken off um, and then sent to surge path. And so if you're a derm path working only with dermatologists, you will not encounter these very often. And there are some other things uh, that can occur in the skin, like giant cell tumor of soft tissue, which is an unrelated entity. Um, so think about that. If you think that you see this in the dermis, uh, just think about and check for other uh, possible giant cell lesions in your differential, because it's kind of uncommon to have these up in the dermis. Okay.